So there's your very basic overview of CDWA. And as you might expect, CDWA is represented in XML. And that XML schema is called CDWA Lite. And it's light because it's intended to be as easy to use as possible given the complexity of the CDWA. It's as light as possible, like Dublin Core, to encourage adoption, to encourage people and institutions to actually use it to assign metadata to art objects in their collections. Now, calling something light is actually almost funny when you're talking about XML, but never mind that. So most of CDWA light is descriptive metadata, but there are a few elements that are administrative metadata. And of course, because it is light, it's a much smaller set of elements than the full 500 plus element set of CDWA. So let's look at CDWA Lite on the Gettys website. And you can look at this in a little bit more depth if you go to that page and click on this link right here. Now, this page is a little bit of a description of CDWA Lite, background, purpose, etc. If you wanted to see the XML schema definition file, you could. It is this file here, XSD, XML schema definition is what that stands for. But we're not going to look at that right now um, because after all, this isn't a course on XML. What we're going to do instead is look at the specification, the PDF of the specification for CDWA Lite, which is this document here. And again, like CDWA, this comes from the Getty. We get some table of contents here, which is actually fairly lengthy because every element has some examples as we'll see. So let's scroll down, get some background to the very first element, object work. Again, the most basic type of element that you might want to deal with if you're describing an art object is the object itself. So the structure of the XML tag is this, should be familiar to us by now, right? Dublin core is Dublin core and then colon and then the element. CDWA light is CDWA light colon and then the name of the element right? in those angle brackets. So the syntax remains consistent across all of these different metadata schemas, even though the prefix, the abbreviation for the metadata schema changes. So as we've seen before, we have a wrapper which declares to your browser or whatever application that you're using that you're using an XML schema and which XML schema it is, in this case, CDWA Lite. So the top level element here is the object or work type wrapper. The sub element of that is the object or work type and the tag for that is CDWA Lite, object work type. Get some description, some description, the attributes of that element, which we'll get to in a moment. Note that it is repeatable and it is required. If you're going to be describing an art object, you need to provide a value for the object itself. That seems sensible. And the data values. It is a controlled vocabulary. They recommend the Art and Architecture Thesaurus, that is AAT. Right? We keep coming back to the Art and Architecture Thesaurus. I promise we'll take a closer look at that soon. And here are some 
examples. First, you have the wrapper, open wrapper, close wrapper, and then object work type, close object work type, and then the value, write on, whatever that is. Again, open wrapper, close wrapper, object work type, and then the attribute, right? Term source, AAT, Art and Architecture Thesaurus. That's saying that the source of the term that we're using to describe this object, which in this case is carte de viste. I'm sure I've mispronounced that. Pardon me if you are a fluent French speaker. The source of that term is Art and Architecture Thesaurus. Term source ID is the ID number of this term in the Art and Architecture Thesaurus. Every term is numbered in Art and Architecture, and that is the number of this term. Again, object work type, term source Art and Architecture Thesaurus, source ID, the number of this term. And then, of course, when these objects display their metadata on a web page, for example, that is what it would look like. Obviously, you wouldn't see the angle brackets and the tags and whatnot. Those are hidden by your browser or whatever. They simply don't display, just as with a HTML or any other XML code. Now, let us look at title. Again, the top level element is the title wrapper and CDWA light colon title wrap is the tag. Description, wrapper for title information. Non-repeatable non and it is required. Again, you need to provide a title and you only want one title, it is not repeatable. The wrapper is not repeatable, I should say. That's an important distinction to make. So bear that in mind for a moment. The sub-element here is title set. And then we have the sub-element of that title and a second sub-element of title set. Right? First sub-element of title set is title. Second sub-element of title set is source of title. So the element tag for title, CDWA light, colon title, the description of what that element means, right? titles, identifying phrases, etc a list of attributes for that element. It is non-repeatable, it is required data values. Formulated according to rules for titles in CCO and CDWA. The rules for creating titles are laid out in CDWA. There's also a, um, CCO is Cataloging Cultural Objects, which I'm not going to get into here, but it's created by an organization called the Visual Resources Association. And it's essentially a handbook for describing and cataloging cultural works, works of art, and the surrogates for those works. Um, we'll, we'll not get into that anymore here. So recommended values for the different attributes. And then source of the title. Again, the tag is CDWA light colon source title, as you'd expect, and formulated according to rules, again, of CCO and CDWA. So let's look at some examples. The simplest example here is this one. Open title wrap, close title wrap. Open title set, close title set. Open title, close title, and the value for title is lidded bowl. So every element, every tag has to be opened and closed. That's proper XML syntax. We've seen that before. And finally, in the middle there, you get the actual value. So that's a very simple example. Let's look at two slightly more complicated examples. Again, open title wrap, close title wrap. Open title set, close title set. Title preferred, the preferred title is Portrait of Maria Frederica von Reed Athlone, etc., etc. Close title. 
open source title, close source title. The source of this work is the J. Paul Getty Museum. And so we have, in the end, two values, the preferred title of the work and the source of that work, which is presumably where that work resides. That's in the collection of the Getty Museum. And a still longer example, open title wrap, close title wrap. Open title set, close title set, and then we open title set again and close it here. So we have two iterations of title set. In the first title set, we have title preferred, language English, type translated, and this is the preferred title in English, Minuet of the Bride, close title. Source title, National Gallery, close source title. So this work presumably lives in the National Gallery. Then we have the second title set, a repeatable element. Title, preferred title, language French, type inscribed. I'm not sure what inscribed means here, but my guess would be that it is inscribed on the work itself. And this is the preferred title in French. Close title, and we're done. And again, these are what those tag sets would look like when they display in a browser window or other piece of software. So what we have here is a XML schema that lays out all of these wrappers and the sub-elements under those in which you can provide the values. Right? So remember, the tags become the elements, and each tag can have a set of attributes, preferred or language or type, etc., attributes that are characteristics of those elements, if you will, and then the value that's provided to the element is the data that's included within those tags. So CDWA Lite, like any XML schema, you know, shares a syntax structure and a way of presenting data with other metadata schemas like Dublin Core, the way of presenting data within tag sets is similar across all of these XML-based metadata schemas.